Okay, what we've got here today is an FC3 RX7 uh, Gen 2, I believe, later model. These oil metering pumps, which is this guy right here, um, got converted from a, a rod control to a stepper motor control. This stepper motor, when voltage is applied to one side of it is supposed to have the plunger going in and then it's going to of course back out with less throttle this motor's bad it's froze up it's not going to work um, and you can't just buy the motor you have to buy the entire assembly they're not cheap and who knows how long the one you're going to buy is going to last because it's going to be used so what we're going to do is fool the car into thinking that it, it's at wide open throttle all the time which this guy right here is a resistor you plunge him all the way in and your circuit is going to read uh, 500 ohms and you back him all the way out and your circuit's going to read 1.8k I think but either way uh, it's a variable resistor that repeats the position of this back to the ECM and what we were having was a uh, code 27 which is the sensor failure I disassembled everything and the sensor seems to be working perfectly uh, it's the stepper motor that actually failed even though it's not showing in the computer as a fault which I think is a code 28 uh, 26 or 28 shows a stepper motor fault well Stepper motor is, is not working, but it's not throwing a code. It's throwing a code for the sensor, telling the computer that you're not getting enough oil feeding into your rotary housings, which is the case. Uh, you know, we're, we're backed all the way out, so we're at minimum oil flow, and then that just plunges all the way in like that to apply maximum oil flow, and uh, we're going to give it a maximum oil flow constant, which the only downside really is going to be uh, possibly a, a, some additional carbon buildup in the long run and uh, some, uh, some uh, additional oil usage, possibly fouling plugs. But it's going to beat the alternative. Um, there's another option we could do. We could plate it off and just get this guy right here and, and tie him up like that where he's shut down all the time and we also have to have the stepper motor plugged in otherwise you'll throw a stepper motor code uh, so we could hang the stepper motor block it off pre-mix and uh, tie up the the resistor here to fool the computer into thinking that we were okay we were getting plenty of oil but I'm gonna leave this system on there I don't want the customer having to pre-mix so we're gonna we're gonna force oil into the into the engine uh, as it should be, we're just going to give it additional, which shouldn't be a big problem. The catalytic converter has always already been gutted, so we don't have a problem there. So my plan is to take a, a nut right here. So when I put this on, there'll be a nut around this, and it's going to plunge that down all the way. And then when the resistor goes back on the back side here, it's going to say to the computer, hey, we've got plenty of oil flow, everything's good, we're safe, and we'll also be forcing oil into the engine through the pump uh, at a good rate. So there's no danger in it. Now, I've had a lot of guys uh, on the internet that I've read said that this is, takes four hours to, to remove this, and they go from the top and they take the lines off and everything. That's not the way I'm playing the game today. We came over here and we removed the torsion bar right here you can see if you're quick it only takes 15 minutes to get this thing off you drop it out of the way and you get right up in here and take those three bolts out right there unplug this guy the hardest problem is that the the sensor the resistor goes all the way up top and feeds up by the thermostat housing and you gotta you gotta wind it down through that mess right up in there and it's got to get by all that. 
once that's done, it comes right out of there and it's not a problem at all. So one hour and you've got this thing dropped and you're out on the bench, then you gotta disassemble and, and that takes a few more minutes. So we're gonna put it back in and we'll get back with you on another video and we'll see how it works.